I'm Sarah. I'm going to be showing you how to use Katrinkle's new mending tool today. The first thing you do is you find an item that you'd like to mend. In this case, I've marked off a fictitious hole that I want to mend in the sock because I couldn't find something with a hole in it right now. Then you take your mending tool and you insert it inside of the sock or the sleeve or whatever else you'd like to mend. And you line that hole up so that it is closer to the flat edge of your mending tool so that there you see the flat edge is right here and then you put the heddles that come with the tool against that flat edge and the elastic that comes with it just put that right around in between the two discs and catch it in between the two grooves of the heddle now you have this nice little setup here be easier to see if i turn it this way i think and now you're going to take about a yard of yarn that you've threaded through a needle. I'm just using a regular tapestry needle here. And I'm gonna come up behind the elastic and pull through and leave about a six inch tail in the back. After the tail is, is just, I'm kind of, it's being held by the elastic, but I'm also holding it with my finger for the first time. So now I'm gonna go a little bit past the hole and I'm gonna pick up a couple of threads of the sock and that is going to make the first warp thread like this. And then I'm coming back across that hole and catching in the next, next groove of the heddle, the next tooth. And then I'm doing the same thing again. You, I'm just catching the edge. I'm making a loop on that tooth, see in the back, and then coming across the front. And I'm going to catch the next little ways over um, on the sock. And you just keep continuing on like this until you have covered up the entire um, whole area. So this is visible mending. I'm gonna talk about visible mending a little bit while I'm finishing up, picking up these warp threads. Um, Basically, we're making a patch on here that you can see. I'm using a very contrasting color, partially because it's fun, but partially because um, it's easy for you to see the mending that I'm doing. Um, you can use a much closer color. You don't you don't have to use a, such a contrasting color. Obviously, I'm not sure I would normally mend um, a white sock with dark green, but maybe I would. So this is what it looks like now that it is warped up. Um, these are the warp threads. This is the heddle. I am now going to use this yarn and I'm going to weave in and out through these threads across it under over under over. And as I'm going along every once in a while, I'm going to catch a little bit of the sock, um, not too close to your hole, because if the hole is there, you know, you don't want to like stretch it out but to make sure that there's a nice patch that's gonna go around. And then as you wear this and wash them later on, it kind of felts in and you get a nice nice thing going. So I'm starting, I'm gonna try and look over and have you see this too, but I'm going under, over, under, over. And then when I get to the other end, before I pull it through on the edge, I'm gonna grab a stitch from the edge. Like that. And then as I pull this through, it's catching, a, it's catching that edge stitch. And then when I come back in the other direction, I'm gonna turn it around so you can see that a little better. When I come back in the other direction, I'm gonna do the opposite. I am actually gonna grab another edge stitch here just to get it more. And then I'm gonna go under, over, the opposite of what I just did. So I'm weaving a little piece of cloth over the hole, around the hole and mending the hole and making a new piece of fabric over the piece that's existing here. And this is really all you do. You just keep on going. You just keep on picking up the edge stitches and going over and under. On this row now, I'm going to also, as I go, pick up a little bit of the, the stitching in the sock on a couple of them so that this um, patch is more secured so you can see the white that's there there's several stitches that are picked up as well and then pull that through and that also adds another layer of interest to this visible mending 
So I'm going to keep going across down like that till I get to the heddles and then I will come back and do a new video, a second video showing you how to take off the heddles and end the patch. But this is basically you're just going to keep on weaving and that is the way that you start and you start weaving a patch on a, the Katrinkles mending tool. I look forward to crafting with you again soon when I show you how to take off the heddles.